Hello everybody, welcome to our video lesson for module 3, quarter 4 for sign 7. So, as requested, I'm going to put in the links below for the uh, previous answer keys that we have um, tackled already. Kasi merong nagre-request and nabasa ko yun kahapon yata yun. So, kasi... Minamahal ko po kayo, aking mga respective viewers. Kaya po, gagawin ko po yun mamaya, maya na po. So, let's start for module 3 po. Okay, so itong module 3 is nahati sa dalawang lessons. So, yung lesson 1, uh, nagpo-focus siya sa limang layers of the atmosphere. So, and yung lesson 2, nag-focus uh, siya sa greenhouse effect, global warming, and so on. So, let's start. Hopefully, in this video lesson, matakol natin ang dalawang lesson. So, i-flash ko lang dito yung answers and kayo na pong bahalang mag sa video para po um, talagang ma-sulit natin ang video lesson na ito. So, yung discussion lang ate yung focus So, sa what I know, number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay? So, basically, sa Earth is surrounded by a blanket of air. We call it the atmosphere. So, basically, yun ay nag-consist ng mga different gases. 78% is nitrogen and 21% is oxygen. So, 78 plus 21 is just 99. So, nasaan yung 1%? So, they are the, uh, it made up of water, vapor, carbon dioxide, ozone, argon, neon, helium, hydrogen, dust particles, and chlorofluorocarbons. We call them trace gases kasi they exist only in very small amounts. So, yan lang po. And we have the different layers of the atmosphere, starting with the troposphere. Then dito, tropopos na yan. Then stratosphere, stratopos. Mesosphere, mesopos. And we have the thermosphere up to the exosphere. Okay. So, basically, sa troposphere, nangyayari yung different weather phenomenon. Tropos means change. That means changing in kanyang weather. And, yeah, as the height increases, yung temperature niya decreases. Kaya po, yung mga mountain hikers, they really have to wear uh, thick clothes for them to be protected from cold, colder temperature in the mountain part. And the stratosphere, the strat means layer. So this is the layer that contains the ozone layer. So when you see ozone layer, it absorbs much of the sun's harmful radiation that would otherwise be dangerous to us, including plants. So ozone is a form of oxygen which absorbs the ultraviolet rays from the sun, which uh, eventually releases heat. Then we have the mesosphere. Meso means middle. So, am um, peteka. Sa stratosphere, as height increases, nagiging mainit po doon. Okay? Opposite siya sa troposphere na as height increases, malamig doon sa pinaka itaas na portion. Sa stratosphere, kasi nandito si ozone layer, na nag absorb ng sun's radiation, kaya as height increases, nagiging mas mainit sa itaas. Sa mesosphere naman, eh, this is where, um, this is a thin layer and this is where the meteors burn up. Uh, we can see it like a shooting star. So as height increases in mesosphere, it's like in the troposphere, nagiging mas malamig doon, up to negative 90 degrees Celsius sa pinakataas na portion sa mesosphere. Sa thermosphere naman, thermo means heat. Uh, dito nangyayari, makikita yung aurora borealis in the north and south, uh, aurora australis in the south. So, aurora borealis kung north, nangyayari. 
So you see aurora, display of glows in the night sky within the polar areas. So basically, nandito yung ionosphere sa thermosphere. And as height increases, nagiging mas mainit po siya up to 1,000 degrees Celsius po sa pinakataas na portion sa thermosphere. And sa exosphere, this is, exo means outside na siya. So, in this layer, this layer po, nandito nakastation yung mga satellites sa exosphere. So, the different layers of the atmosphere has its corresponding role in sustaining life on Earth. Okay, so, itong answer sa what's more portion, number one is already done for you. Ipa-flash ko lang ha, pakipost na lang ng video. So, ito po yung table, answer natin sa what's more activity to. So, pakipost na lang nitong video. Okay, for the what I have learned, ito po yung answers natin. Okay, pakipause na lang. What I can do, kayo na po ang bahala dyan. Meron namang rubrics in writing a letter. And assessment part. Sa lesson 1 pa po ito na assessment. Alright. And additional activities din po. So, yan ang ating answers. Uh, let's proceed to the what I know portion sa lesson 2 na po tayo. Into 5 answers. Then you have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so basically, greenhouse effect yung topic dito. So, nalalaman naman natin na yung... Earth's atmosphere is made up of nitrogen, while one or basically three quarters of Earth's atmosphere is made up of nitrogen, while one fifth is oxygen, and the remaining one percent are the trace gases, a mixture of carbon dioxide, water vapor, ozone, and other gases. So these trace gases are very important, and it contribute to the different weather we experience, weather phenomenon that we experience. Okay, so ito, ang i-answer nyo lang is number 1, 2, 3, 4. Very easy lang naman yan. What's going on? Okay, so i-discuss ko lang itong figure na ito. So, the sun's rays warms the earth. Okay, sun's rays shan. So, in, alam naman natin, merong mga trace gases, yung mga carbon dioxide, ozone, chlorofluorocarbons, water vapor, and so on. So, upon the, upon the reach, I mean, kung aabot na yung rays or sun's heat dito sa earth, some of it will escape into space and some will be trapped by the trace gases, especially itong carbon dioxide. Kasi, uh, almost marami na tayong population dito sa planet Earth and we know naman every time we breathe we, we uh, breathe uh, I mean, nagpaproduce tayo ng carbon dioxide so the more population we have the more po na mag ano yung carbon dioxide provided kapag po naman nagpa-planting of trees tayo nagtatanim tayo ng maraming puno may gagamit sa carbon dioxide na iniimit natin. Kaya po, uh, we encourage everyone to really plant trees para po maagapan yung pag ano, pag uh, yung na nararamdaman natin ngayon na init ng panahon. Kasi po, the more carbon dioxide sa ating atmosphere, the more heat po na ma hindi maka-escape into space. So, ang mangyayari talagang global warming po. So, Itong mga trace gases po, nag o observe po siya sa ibang heat of the sun, kaya po hindi siya maka-escape into space. Alright, so, ito, greenhouse effect. So, yun ang aking um, sinasabi. So, when you see greenhouse, itong greenhouse is ginagamit natin sa pagtatanim para po ma- ma-protected ang plants sa different weather phenomena just like 
snowstorm, dust storms. And yung ano naman, yung greenhouse po, itong at greenhouse, earth, planet earth is just like the, this greenhouse. Um, it will trap heat inside. Okay, it will trap heat inside. It will allow sunlight to enter and prevent heat from escaping. So basically, itong greenhouse na nakikita natin sa mga plants, na kinocompare siya sa ating Earth's atmosphere. So, nagtatrap siya ng her uh, heat which makes the Earth suitable for living plants organisms to live kasi kapag wala ito uh, in just overnight magda-drop yung temperature hindi ma-trap yung heat coming from the sun and ang mayayari, it's too cold for living things, especially at night to live no? so this is uh, very helpful itong uh, greenhouse itong earth's atmosphere okay so, ito yung dinidiscuss ko kanina. Okay? And, yeah, is Earth getting warmer? As you can see in the latest, in this data, yes, the, Earth's, the Earth is getting warmer because of our carbon dioxide emission. So, a lot of heat cannot return back to space. So, we urge everyone to plant trees. Plant, plant trees. That's what we can do. Uh, plant whatever plants we can plant. Let's do it. Because carbon dioxide is needed by plants. And we know that carbon dioxide is naturally produced when people and animals breathe. So, kailangan talaga meron tayong plants and trees that will take in and use carbon dioxide. Para po ma, ma ibsan itong init na nangyari sa ating paligid. We should, we should not cut down trees unless meron tayong i-replace po. We should not cut down trees. And there are many activities that contributed to this uh, global warming. One of it is coal mining because coal mining produces methane. So always remember the following. When you see global warming, it's a potential increase in average global atmospheric temperatures resulting from the greenhouse effect. So, yung greenhouse effect po is yung na, na ano natin, yung pagka-chop ng heat dito sa um, earth uh, which makes the living things um, lives, I mean, which makes the earth suitable for living things to live. But when you say global warming, it's the global atmospheric increase of average temperatures that is very harmful because it might lead to the melting of the what's this polar ice that can lead to flooding and rise of a uh, water sea level all right, so these are the answers for activity 3. So itong nilagyan ko ng no, ito lang ang may no na answer. The rest is yes. For the what I have learned, okay, you write what you have learned. What I can do. Oh my God, mara, uh, almost na siya natatapos ang ating video recording. So paki-pause na lang nitong video para po mag-over niyo ang inyong answers, ang ating answers. So, that ends our lesson for today, Module 3. It's complete. And just pause this video for you to grab the correct answers. So, thank you so much. Bye-bye. See you later in Module 4.